Hey guys, welcome to Cowie Performance. On today's episode, we're going to talk impellers for your Ultra 300 and 310. Here is your Ultra 300 impeller. This fits all gears Ultra 300. Kawasaki actually went with a 160 millimeter pump, so this is a 160 millimeter impeller. Solus actually makes a Concorde series replacement in two pitches, the 1421 and the 1522. This is the 1421 made by Solus. As you can see, I don't know if you can see from there, it's actually a little bit taller. The Solus prop is a little bit taller than the OEM one. It is a little bit steeper in pitch, so it does scoop more water. It's actually a very good replacement for the Ultra 300. If you do want to upgrade an impeller, the OEM impeller is actually an excellent choice. They do a very good job from the factory. Solus does also do a very good job, but you usually want to stick with the 1421. Otherwise, you will lose some top speed if you go with the 1522. It is a little aggressive of a pitch. Here is an Ultra 310 impeller, a brand new OEM one. As you can see, it looks a little bit different than the Ultra 300 impeller, but it also is 160 millimeter. If you put these two side by side, they're actually identical besides the extended snout on the 310. So realistically, you can use the Ultra 300 impeller on the 310, but you can't use the 310 on the 300 just because of the splines. They actually won't engage enough on the Ultra 300, which will put the prop back. So with the Ultra 310, it actually is a superior design because you don't get a lot of cavitation around here. Plus, it's actually stronger because of the additional engagement. I have a drive shaft here from an Ultra 300, which you can see has full engagement there, but on the 310, these splines actually come down a bit further here, so they engage more on the 310, just like that. So it actually, instead of sitting all the way here, it actually sits here more on the 310, which is really cool. You got to be careful, however, when you do a prop replacement on the 310, the Solus impellers do not have an extended nose like this. So what ends up happening is your splines stick out like this. You probably never notice, but your splines stick out like this. And when you put the boot on, it really does nothing. So if the salt water gets in there, if you're riding in salt water or the water gets in there and creates a mess out of the drive shift and ruins the splines, especially in the Solus impellers, because they're not stainless steel. So Solus actually pushes in a bushing in here and broaches the bushing instead of what Scatrack did, which was they broached the actual stainless steel. So this bushing will rot out, especially in salt water, and then you actually have to replace the prop. So until Solus actually comes out with a long nose prop for the 310, which I doubt they will, the best impeller choice for the Ultra 310 is the stock impeller. And Glenn at Impros can repitch the stock impeller to whatever you want. We recommend stock. You can move it up to like a 1421. But the best impeller for your 310 is the stock one because of the long nose. And you can see the pitch is exactly the same as the 300. It's the long nose. So in summary here, the best prop for your Ultra 300 is going to be stock or the Solus 1421. And the best prop for your 310 is obviously going to be the stock prop because of the long nose. If you did want a little extra acceleration, but you're going to lose top speed, you can go with the 1522 Solus on the 300. But if you did do that on the 310, don't forget, you're going to be sitting down here and your drive shaft's going to be exposed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, please throw them below.